Hey Legends, it's your boy Knox, and I hope you're as excited as I am because Bloodstrike just dropped a massive update and it's bringing some serious heat. This update has something for everyone, from game-changing striker optimizations to killer new skins that you won't want to miss. Today, we're diving into all the latest changes, so buckle up and get ready to explore everything this update has to offer. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Let's kick things off with the striker optimizations, starting with Kanda. The devs have made some key updates to her skills, making her even more lethal on the battlefield. First up, They've updated the skill descriptions to include the attack range, which is a small but crucial detail for strategizing your plays. Plus, they've added some new screen effects when you're hit by the phasing arrow. It's a visual cue that really amps up the intensity when you're on the receiving end. The scouting arrow also got some love. Enemies scanned by it will now appear on the mini-map, making it easier than ever to track down your targets. And here's the kicker. The scouting arrow can now attach to characters or vehicles and move with them. So whether you're tailing an enemy or scouting ahead, this ability just got a whole lot more versatile. To top it off, they've enhanced the visual effects, making it easier to distinguish between ally and enemy scouting arrows at a glance. No more confusing friend from foe. And hey, if you've experienced any issues with strikers in the past, the devs want you to know they're listening. They've apologized for any bugs or oversights and are committed to improving internal testing. So, keep that feedback coming through the community channels. They're paying attention. Now, let's talk about some core combat improvements that are going to change how you play. First off, the FOV has been given a major upgrade. You can now crank it up to 120, giving you a much wider view of the battlefield. Whether you're trying to spot enemies on the outskirts of your screen, or just want a more immersive experience, this new FOV setting is a game-changer. Check out this side-by-side -side comparison. It's a huge difference. If you've been feeling like you couldn't see enough on the edges of your screen, this should fix that right up. Mobile players, you're in for a treat with the new quick airdrop button. This feature lets you call in airdrops and redeploy your team at the tap of a button. It's all about speed and efficiency, so whether you're in a pinch or just want to get your hands on some top-tier loot fast, this is going to make your life a lot easier. Although, I think this was already in the game before now, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, these updates might seem small on paper, but in-game, they make a huge difference. Adjust that FOV to your liking and start using the quick airdrop feature to keep your team in the fight. Trust me, you'll feel the impact. Next up, we've got a brand new lobby, and let me tell you, it's looking slick. The devs have really outdone themselves with this one. The new lobby has a calm and dynamic visual style. The attention to detail is unreal. From the lighting to the overall vibe, it's clear they wanted to make logging in an experience, not just a routine. So, whether you're gearing up for a match or just chilling with your squad, the new lobby makes sure you're doing it in style. Stay tuned, because there's definitely more to come. Now, let's dive into the special events lined up in this update. First on the list, we've got weekly rewards coming your way. Every Friday through Sunday, you can score some sweet gifts just by logging in and playing with your friends. This event runs from August 31st to September 2nd, so make sure you don't miss out. And that's not all. There's another event starting on September 7th. Just by signing up for the new update, you'll get access to some awesome rewards. It's as simple as that. Just sign up, and the goodies are yours. So, whether you're in it for the weekly gifts or the exclusive sign-up rewards, these events are a great way to score some extra rewards. Be sure to mark your calendars and jump in while you can. Let's talk about the tutorial overhaul, which is perfect for all the new players jumping into Bloodstrike. The devs have streamlined the tutorial process, making it easier than ever to get started. You'll also level up quicker before reaching level 10, so you can dive into the action without getting slowed down in the early grind. But that's not all. They've also added a new, fresh start entrance in the lobby. 
This groups all the beginner events together, making it super easy for newcomers to find everything they need in one place. To keep accounts secure, some features are now limited for guest accounts. So, if you haven't linked your account yet, now's a good time to do it. It's a quick step that'll save you a lot of trouble down the road. Overall, these changes make it smoother for new players to get up to speed and start enjoying the game right away. If you're new to Bloodstrike, or even if you're bringing in some friends, this tutorial overhaul is going to make that first experience a whole lot better. Now, let's check out the exciting new arrivals. First up, we've got the brand new Eternal Scar skin, Dominator. This skin is dropping on August 30th, and it's all about bringing a symphony of destruction and rebirth to your gameplay. Just look at this thing. It's a total nightmare. Next, we have the Ultra Melee Weapon Skin, Butterfly Knife Death Star. This one arrives on September 6th, and it's got that cold, stellar look that's simply out of this world. Unlock it to get instant access to six major features. Pretty awesome, right? And if that wasn't enough, the legendary AK-47 slash Desert Eagle skin, Hellhound, is now available. Arriving on September 9th, the skin looks like this in case you don't know. It's got a fierce design that fits perfectly with its name. Whether you're looking to show off with some flashy new gear or just want to up your style game, these new arrivals have got you covered. Don't miss out on these amazing additions to your collection. All right, let's talk about the Super Sale, which is bringing some seriously cool deals. First up, we've got the ominous M4A1 Death Sentence skin hitting the store soon for just 299 gold. It's a steal, and it's got a design that's sure to make a statement in every match. This is your chance to snag an awesome skin at a great price. If you've been eyeing cool and cheap skins, now's the time to grab them before the sale ends. Keep an eye out for this sale and make sure you don't miss out on adding this killer skin to your collection. Let's move on to some of the system optimizations that are making your game experience smoother and more enjoyable. First up, the Play Again feature has been improved. Now you can quickly team up with your friends for another round without any problems. Next, there's a new share button on the weapon page, so you can easily share weapon skins with your friends in the chat channel. Plus, there's a new switch button that makes it a breeze to switch between weapons while adjusting attachments or appearances. And from now on, once your weapon hits level 50, you'll earn Universal Weapon EXP cards, which can be used to upgrade other weapons. This means you're rewarded for your efforts and can boost your other gun levels more efficiently. They've also streamlined the combat tutorial and lowered the mission requirements, making it easier to get the hang of things. Plus, there's now an option to enable or disable new in-game tutorials in the settings menu. Other improvements include visible profile cards on the main menu, easier navigation for friend management, and new effects for auto pickup items. And don't worry about being overwhelmed by loud sounds. Teammates parachuting and gliding noises have been toned down. These updates are all about making your gameplay smoother and more intuitive. Dive in and explore these new features. You'll find they make a big difference. Finally, let's talk about the map optimizations. The devs have made some key improvements to enhance your gameplay experience. For starters, various bugs in Shutter Island and Deserted Valley have been fixed, and window accessibility has been optimized. They've also designated certain areas as outside the combat zone with a countdown alert to notify you when you're getting close. This should help you avoid getting caught off guard by the shrinking play area. And to make things even better, the lighting in Deserted Valley has been enhanced for better visibility. You'll notice improved clarity and contrast, which should make it easier to spot enemies and navigate the terrain. These map updates are all about improving your overall experience and making sure you can play without any unnecessary issues. Check out the changes and let me know what you think. And that wraps up our look at the latest Bloodstrike update. From exciting new skins and improved features to system optimizations and map tweaks, there's a lot to look forward to. Whether you're jumping into the new lobby, taking advantage of the special events, or exploring the enhanced maps, there's something for everyone. Let me know in the comments which update you're most excited about or if you've already tried out some of these new features. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Bloodstrike content. 
I've got plenty more coming your way, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, Legends. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and until next time, keep your aim sharp and your gameplay top-notch. See you on the battlefield. Using a bandage. The safe zone has been redefined. Grenade in play. The safe zone is shifting. Come down. Using a bandage. 